do 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 electrochemistry do 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 Hi, I'm Dr. Weber and we're going to go over uh, lab 10 electrochemistry and we're going to go over the background and what's expected of you for this upcoming week. All right, so part one of this experiment, you're going to be having three different solutions. If I draw them up, here's an example. So you're going to have a test tube and in that test tube, you're going to have a wire that's going to be a metal. So for example, we have a nickel wire, and in solution, it's going to be copper sulfate. So what's happening here is we have nickel solid, and if it's a spontaneous reaction, that nickel solid's going to dissolve, and the copper is going to deposit onto the surface of the nickel. So what's happening in solution as a half reaction is nickel starting off as a solid, and it's going to dissolve, so it's going to become nickel 2 plus plus 2 E minus, and this is going to be an aqueous form. And the copper is starting in aqueous form, and it's depositing, so it's going the opposite, opposite direction. So copper So now we have our two half reactions, and we need to decide which ones are oxidation and which ones are reduction. So if you, just looking at this, which one's going to be our oxidation? Nickel. Nickel is, because if you look at the charge, we're going from a charge of zero to a charge of two plus, meaning it's losing electrons. And then reduction is going to be our copper, because we're going from a charge of two plus to a charge of zero. So we're gaining electrons. So going to page 184, you have this nice little reduction potential table. We can write down what those potentials are here. So the potential reduction for copper off this table is going to be 0 0.34. But nickel is being oxidized. So we need to look at this table for with reduction potentials, and we need to figure out what the oxidation potential is. So if the reduction potential of nickel is ne negative 0 0.26, what is going to be the oxidation potential? So it's essentially the opposite of reduction. So we need to flip the sign. So if it was negative 0.26, now it's going to be positive 0.26. And we can find the entire potential of this reaction by just adding these together. So E net is equal to E ox plus E reduction. And that's just going to be 0 0.6 volts. And so we're going to then ask you, if it's 0 0.6 volts, is this going to be a spontaneous reaction? Yes, yes, because it is a positive value. It means it desperately wants those negative electrons. So it's going to want to go towards the reduction side. So it is going to be a spontaneous. If this was negative 0.6, it would be a non-spontaneous reaction. So we don't expect anything to happen in solution. Do 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 part two. So in part two of this experiment, we're going to have two half cells connected by a salt bridge. Uh, we have a solution of zinc sulfate and a zinc uh, plate in solution. And we're going to have copper sulfate solution, and we're going to have copper inserted in that solution. And between them, you're going to have your salt bridge, which is going to be your filter paper between them, your saturated filter paper. So do you remember why is it important to have this salt bridge connected between them? To allow electrons to flow. Yes, so electrons need to be able to flow so we can measure how much voltage this reaction is giving off. That's going to be the purpose. It's really important for your salt bridge not to be touching your metal or you'll short circuit your entire reaction. So we're going to provide straws in your kits to make sure that there is a nice little gap between them. So I know that I've drawn this a little close, but it's supposed to be a little further away. You don't want them touching. So now we can write down what our half reactions are, but we need to know which one's going to be our anode and which one's going to be our cathode. So looking at your table on 184, it's important to know what are the reduction potentials for zinc and for copper. So looking at it, zinc's reduction potential is around negative 0.76 and copper is around plus uh, 0.34. Looking at that, which one's going to be more negative? Which one's going to be harder to reduce? That is going to be your anode. Because 
Zinc is going to be negative 0.76 and copper is plus 0.34. That's why copper is going to be your cathode. And it's gonna be positively charged. And your anode is gonna be your zinc. It's gonna be negatively charged. And that tells us the flow of electrons. The flow of electrons always go from your anode to your cathode. So now we can write our entire half cell reaction. So based on this, we're going from zinc solid to zinc two plus, then to copper two plus, then to copper solid. So the half cells are gonna be matching this. So zinc is going to be oxidized and copper is going to be reduced. And now we can write what our ENET is. So I'm gonna write this all out. chart now and tell us what is going to be our potentials for each of these. So since copper is being reduced, our, e, our potential from the reduction is going to be 0.34. Zinc is being oxidized, so we can't just give the number that's right off this table. We need to figure out what is the potential for oxidation for zinc. It's just going to be the opposite sign of what's on this table. So negative 0.76 becomes positive 0.76. So now we just need to solve for our E net. So what is our potential for the entire reaction? So I got 1.1 volts. Is this going to be a spontaneous reaction? Yes. Yes, this is a positive value. So we expect it to be very spontaneous. So, I'm just hoping your results match. Do 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 electrochemistry. Almost done with Gen Chem 2. Dun 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 dun. dun. Brum, 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 brum. Almost done. Yeah. If um, I'm sorry, I'm screwing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right. Is this? Am I even making sense? I think so. Losing electrons. Sorry. We're, it's gonna be a plate, not electrode. Can I start over?